Hey guys, Bondo here. We are about to start a new project. Rob's here to help us. We got Clifford, the big red dog here. This is what we're doing. We have to put an addition on this house here, guys. So basically the addition comes out from this one, 14 feet out, comes over 24 feet, and then 14 here. Or no, let me look at the print. I got the print here. This is basically, I'll show you, be easier to show you. This is the print, 26 feet, 26 feet, 24 feet, and this one is the 14 foot here. So that's what it looks like. It's got a little pad in the middle. So we gotta excavate all this dirt here. And that fence is his property line, so it's gonna be tight quarters over here. We're gonna come out here with the 14. I gotta take these fence posts out of here. Dig all the sod out of here. Down to the footer. We gotta pull all these deck posts out. The boys gotta cut three foot along this concrete here. It's because this wall ties into that wall where Big Biscuit is. We gotta pull these metal pipes. So they're gonna snap a clean line and they're gonna cut that. And then we gotta rip all this, all these posts out. And this is all getting excavated down. It's all gonna be basement, basically. And that's what it looks like. We got the excavator here. We're gonna dig it with that. Um, we can probably get it with that little excavator, I'm sure. It's not that deep. Might have some step footings in here too. But stay tuned, I'll show you what we're doing. where the footer is. Our gopher in his natural habitat. Doing some digging. Mm -hmm. Is that the footer right there? Is that the footer beside the pipe? Alongside there? Must be deeper right there, huh? Might be a step footer in here. That pipe might be just higher. That pipe's probably clogged anyways. The holes are facing up. So we're getting quite a um, pile of dirt here, guys. Already, so there's really nowhere to put anything here. So it's going to be a challenge. Got the fence there. So I got Big Biscuit going to get the... Um, skidster so we can haul some of this dirt out of here. I'm gonna have to haul it before we can go too much further. There's that drain, that plastic, black plastic crap. I don't really like that drain very much. guys so it rained like a mother last night over here everything is soaking wet and muddy i've been bailing out the hole got the dump truck stuck this gets on the mini we're going to try to push it out i'm just letting the air build up on the truck but she's stuck right there hopefully we can push it we got the blade on the hitch right there got dirt in it unfortunately got a pretty good load, load of wet dirt in there too so not good we're gonna try to push it up onto the driveway and we're gonna have to stay in the road with it until everything dries out it's supposed to rain again today stay tuned well we got her up on the driveway she 
biscuit in the background, so that's a good thing. We're gonna make a mess over here though. Biscuit's over digging right now. He's got he's on the mini digging. So I'm just hauling dirt. But these are all the loads of dirt. I think this is number 12 here, but we've hauled all this dirt so far. And I'm trying to stay up on this hard road because the tires on this truck are not that great. So I'm just gonna dump it right along here. He said just keep it off the road. That's what we're doing, me and Rotor gonna be all day doing this too. There's just a ton of dirt to move. So I get myself squared up. Whenever I dump this truck, obviously I wanna be square. I don't wanna be dumping that at an angle. So to dump this truck, I gotta basically set the set the parking brake on it. Got an air parking brake. Then I gotta dump the there's an air dump for the airbags. I gotta dump that. And I gotta get out. You can hear the air dumping. I gotta release this tailgate, drop that down. Jump back up in it. Little buddy helping me. And then I have to put the PTO pump on. The air's still dumping, you can hear that. I gotta take the brake off. I like to put it in gear. And then over here is my dump. So I push that down. And you can see it start to rise up. I like to have it here so that I can pull ahead. It starts to dump. I like to pull ahead a little bit. My old Clifford's been pretty handy. It's a small dump truck, but you know, taking the stuff hard, it's pretty good. So, I'm going to move all the way up right there, I'm going to pull ahead. And that tailgate's 
gate slams like that, usually it'll knock any extra dirt off. So now I reach back over and that's in the middle and then I pull it towards me and then she starts to dump. As you can see, then I reach over here, hit that to dump it back in, or the air dump to put more air back in the airbags. Then I reach over here, put it back in the middle. Then I'm going to shut my PTO pump off. Set my parking brake. A lot of steps to remember. Then I gotta get back out. Flash my tailgate again. A little gearing over it. I like to go back in the back of the truck. There's usually dirt on this hitch. I'll knock that off. You can see we're not hauling a huge load here. Some of them are bigger than others, but we're moving some material here. This is day number two. We had to get set up yesterday, so we didn't spend all day um, moving dirt. It's not our equipment there, it's someone else. We're up in here, so I gotta stay in the road, basically. This gets over there digging. Kevin and the Kubota sitting there waiting to work. Gotta park it right here. Rotor's been just sitting in the truck, chilling. But this gets over there digging. I gotta take Kevin the Kubota and fill up the truck. That's how we're doing it. I'll show you how far we've got. Okay guys, here's all the dirt that I dumped here so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It looks like twenty loads. Old Clifford. Twenty loads. Getting some number two stone with the clipper today, guys. That scooper holds two yards, so this will be scoop number two, so that'll be four yards. And I can see what the truck looks like with four on it. Four might be enough, I don't know. So look in there and see. We got a little clipper here. Using the coal shoe because there's nowhere to dump the stone, so biscuits opening the coal shoe, filling up the skid bucket here. That's how we're doing it. Works pretty good, really. That way, we're not getting our stone all messed up with uh, dirt and stuff. This is just fill stone for drainage. Number two fill stone. I say it's number two, but it's a little bigger. Looks like there's bigger stuff in there. Working pretty good. right there you can't get in through here with the crap so nowhere to dump anything it's gonna be a pain I don't think I can do this one-handed so I gotta shut this bad boy off
What are you doing, Raul? What are you doing, Rotor? Getting another load of stone here, guys. Uh, we had some dirt stuck up into the the back of uh, Clifford here. We're gonna go for five yards. We had four, plus we had at least probably a yard of uh, topsoil mixed clay crap from yesterday stuck in there. So I told him to put five yards in. I think she'll handle her. It works out good with that um, full shoot as you've seen in the video there. We were able to uh, not waste hardly any stone. We able to put it right in there. So that's what we're doing. He's getting two yards per scoop. Get a half scoop on the third one. We'll be good to go. Get a one more half scoop and we'll be good. That's what she looks like. About probably even with the bottom board if you leveled it out, so maybe a little higher. Priced good and it's uh, close. That's why we're using it. I gotta get back to getting it out of the dump truck with the skidster and the coal chute. I gotta go over there, but we just had to move some around. Some overspill. That's how we're making out. Chris is over there putting the forms together. The boys are moving all the stone. Hopefully get this footer poured today. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we got mud here. Circle T's here. Three one five nine six three two two three one. Got the big conveyor. And we are going to we try to pour out this footer. We got them back here in the mud, but that's as far as we can get. So the footer's ready to rip. Rebar's in. Got it all stoned up, staked up. Everything's good to go. We'll probably have to use our wheelbarrows a little bit, but that's no biggie. We had the technology. I don't know though, he's, he's pretty good. So we may be able to reach 90% of that. Stay tuned, I'll put this thing on a tripod for you. Get in the dump truck? You want to go in the dump truck tonight? You want to go in the dump truck? Come on, let's go. Where's the dump truck? You want to go in the dump truck tonight? Tomorrow we're going to go, bud. Tomorrow we're going to go. Not tonight, tomorrow. I know you're excited. You want to work. You want to work, don't you? Well, tomorrow we're going to work. We're chilling tonight. It's beer 30 time, buddy. It's beer 30. Tomorrow we're gonna work. Okay, guys, we're going to be installing this sump pump basket. This is the, this is what we got here. 
Jackal 18 by 22 sump pump basin. This does not have come with any holes in it or nothing, which I actually like. I can put the holes where I want them. So I drilled three holes on every one of these like rib things. You could do more if you think you need it, but I think that's going to let the water in. We're going to bury this in stone. Then we're going to have a pipe going through the side of it too. Like I'm going to cut a hole and let the pipe from the outside go right into it. And then they can pump out their uh, water because they can't really do a natural drain here. They don't have the slope on their own property. And then there's a, there's a cover here too. This is the cover. I got this at Lowe's box store stuff but seems to be a good one there's a cheaper one you can get but i like this one better it's really thick plastic so that's gonna hold up to uh getting buried and knocked around so we're gonna set this in there i'll show you what it looks like when we get it installed i dug a big hole with the excavator i'll show you that too in a second here is our sump crack guys i set it three and a half inches off the footer to the top so that it's a little bit lower than the floor we stuck that pipe through the footer yesterday so stick it like three and a half there our floor is four inches so that'll keep it just down below the surface and i gotta cut a hole here and stick a piece of pipe through there into this coupler stuck this coupler there and then it's got them holes i drilled in it all the way got what three six nine twelve holes in it let the water in we got oversized the hole here quite a bit as you can see a big hole there it's all going to be filled with stone so any water gets in here on the inside it's going to run right into the crock and then we're going to tie the outside drain right into it which will suck the water around from the outside into the hole so it can get pumped out i'd rather see a daylight drain here but on the other side of that fence it drops off but that's not his property so drops off like crazy i wanted him to ask the neighbor if we could run a drain there but he didn't want to but so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna sump pump it we're getting our stone which i dumped in the driveway over there at the excavator the boys are down in the hole there dumping it down into the Brentwoods. We're trying to level out the bottom of the floor here. We got our sump pump crock in. Try to do this with one hand here. Watch out boys. Try to do this one hand. Clipping this first course, guys, with the HV clips, they call them. So, we put four clips on our common or our 
seams on the first course. The bottom ones are kind of a pain. Don't cut yourself on the rebar. Yep, that's how we do it on the first course. Everything's gonna have those four clips. I'll show you the second course when we get to it. That'll be later. We're gonna pour this floor. We're gonna get this ICF block all the way around here. And then we are going to pour our floor today because it's much easier than having the wall way up there and trying to pour the floor. We can uh, pull a truck in right where the skidster is and we can just use our wheelbarrows, our brunt woods, and we can shoot it right down in. And uh, there's actually gonna be a jack post pad here. So we just stuck a sauna tube in there and we'll fill that right in with the floor. That'll be the first thing we do. We got our sump pump over here, all ready to rip. Back filled. I'll show you what that looks like. I drilled some holes in it to let the water in. There's no water right now because it's not raining. And I've got a sleeve going through here. That's what the pipe is right there. Goes into that sleeve. We'll just cut our ICF around there and tie it into the outside. We have to tie into this old drain which this drain is actually a little higher than I would like. So our drain will go down a little lower. I like to keep the drain down like somewhat beside the footer so that the water is not getting into your floor because our floor is four inches higher than the footer. So we're just getting started. We're gonna put these blocks down first course and we're gonna pour this floor today. We got mud ordered. That's what we're doing. Here comes the mud. Need some screws. We're gonna need some screws and uh, um, do a T corner here. These are actually straps from Nudura. These are not for Fox, but I like the way their system is because we can fabricate our T corners right on site. So what I always do is cut the groove out of there. I like to leave this web in there if I can. It's nice if it lands right here, but it always doesn't. So. I'll cut a nice chunk out of there and I'll stick a rebar in the bottom. We're gonna wire that in and then we're gonna put another one in here with a probably a hook on it to keep this together. But these things are really nice. They got a point on them. And you get where you wanna go here. And I'll stab one right, they stab right through there. Kind of wiggle it like that. And then they And then we're going to put four of these in the wall. We're going to put a piece of rebar down there too, down in, into here. And we're going to do another one down here. So we'll have two on each side of the wall. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But it's going to be super strong. We put some roofing screws in here. I'll show you that. The guys are up there getting the roofing screws. And this thing will never come apart. And once you pour concrete, you can just cut them right off wheel and they're gone okay guys this is our finished little t corner thing we got two straps on here like that four screws in it right into your plastic web four screws four screws on this side and two knives and knives hook right around the rebar like that i'm telling you what that's rock solid like I said, I like to just fabricate these right on site. I like that Nadura strap system. We're using Nadura with Fox. Blended family here. So we're, at, we're getting her done, we're putting rebar in. Doing pretty good. We're gonna spray foam it down, put plastic and wire in here so we can pour our floor. Stay tuned. Okay guys. We are getting closer here. Biscuits spray foaming the block down to the footer. See, he's just doing a little blob about every two and a half feet. Chris is figuring out our drain. We're gonna put a drain in here because this is gonna be like a Bilco door type of thing. And there's gonna be a sliding door right where Chris stands, so. We have to put poly down and wire mesh and get the spray foam dry, put our drain in. Got concrete coming in a little bit here. Stay with us. 
We're waiting, <laughs> waiting for concrete here. Me and loader. <laughs> Truck's coming. Should be here any minute. You need some attention, don't you, Bubber? You need some attention, huh? Quit licking me, you little crapper. You little crapper. Ugh. <laughs> Not in the face, you shit. See what I got to deal with every day? This little crapper right here. All right, guys, we got it ready. Got one course blocks down. Everything is, uh, we got our wire mesh and poly down. We snapped lines around everything. Got our screeds ready. We are going to be pulling the truck right in here. It's a little bit, it's not wet anymore, but the ground is real soft. We dug it all up and with the skidster and stuff, but it's drying out. Um, when we poured the footer, I don't know if you've seen that in the video, we got him stuck, but pulled him out with uh, Kevin the Kubota. Mm -hmm. So we got we got a couple pieces of equipment in here if we need it, but I think we're going to start probably over in there, or maybe over in that corner. We'll see. But we got to wheel it. We can't get the conveyor today, so we're going to wheel it. with. The, we got two Brentwoods here. We got the rebuilt one and the new one. The rebuilt one's Black Betty. That's Black Betty. So this is how we do these ICF floors, guys. We like to pour them before the walls go up. I got a few videos explaining that. Well, we got our trench drain done too. We put a trench drain in this over here. It runs out right there. We're gonna tie that to the perimeter drain, but we tape it off with zip tape so that the grate doesn't get all concrete. But that's set to the height of the right to the height of the floor. This section here is going to be outside the envelope, the heated envelope. There's going to be a sliding door here, so it'll be a set of stairs going down in here. So that is how we're going to do it. Everything is spray foam down so that the blocks don't move when we pour. Um, pouring these floors does not put any pressure against the block. Just so you know, I've had that question asked before does not put any pressure on it it goes uh goes real slick doing it this way and you can reach right over for troweling your edges you can just stand here and you can just reach right over the wall you don't have to hit it with sliders we'll just have to slide this area around here with the sliders the rest we can uh just reach right over the edge i'll probably uh have to slide that drain we'll get out in there and work that Probably hand finish most of this because we won't be able to get our trowel back and forth. But no biggie. Stay with us. We got Dwight coming in from the plant. Just waiting for him. We just had lunch. We'll get going here in a minute. Hmm. Here come the mud, guys. I heard that they're sending my old buddy Dwight in here. So we got to get back in here with the truck I, like I said it's a little bit soft my old buddy Dwight from Circle T 315-963-2231 what's up buddy what do you want me buddy oh, I want you, you want? right in there right where that mud is we gotta go right back to where Biscuit is and uh, shoot down in the hole there hmm? We're gonna need all the shoots probably at some point. Want me to back this truck up? Huh? Is this white truck in your way? This truck? Okay, okay. I know. Hit it, you bought it. Ha! Ah! Oh, come on, bud. Don't be picking on my Fords. There it is, guys. Circle T. There's their number. Central New York area. Ah, oh, he's barely he slid a little bit sinking a little bit it's a little greasy dried up a lot since Sean got stuck the other day in here oh no problemo no problemo boys and girls Looking good. We gotta pull ahead a little bit more, but we'll get a, get them shoots on there. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Don't 
Don't hit the biscuit. He's had a bad week. Woo! Taking care of the drivers right there. Bondo built shirt. We are gonna pull him up in here. Fill up the old Brentwoods. We're gonna fill the jack post pad first with some thicker concrete. That's probably good right there. We don't need no cave-ins today, huh? Mix her up a little bit. We're gonna try to shoot for like a five and a half, six slump, but we're gonna put maybe a four and a half, five slump down in that hole first. Uh, first thing we'll do. We got a little piece of the rebar to throw in there. It's just a sauna tube. There's a jack post going right there. Fill her up, Bob. That's that's stiffer than we want to work with today. How many gallons of water you want in it? Seven yards. Five gallons. No. Throw like five gallons of water in there and spin her up. I know. We're done with the hole now. Oh, pushed it right out. Hole's full. You need another one? Nope. nope. Just one. Hole's full. Some rebar down in there. There we go, boys. Stuff it right down in there, boys. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Now don't step in the hole. See who's the first one's gonna step in the hole. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Everybody says they're gonna be the first ones in the hole. I'm gonna put you on a tripod, guys. We gotta get to work. They're gonna want me to help, I think. I'll get you set up here. Oh, I gotta flip that over. Do a nice little time lapse today for you. Well guys, we got her in. Chris is just uh, finishing up, hitting that last little bit with the bow float. Did not go bad at all. Now uh, the waiting starts. Nice thing is we can reach right in there and hit everything. Stay tuned, I'll try to get a little footage of us uh, trawling this in a little while. All right guys, it's like two o'clock. We poured this about 11.30, so I just buzzed her once with the power trowel. Chris is on his sliders out there, hitting edges. I'm just reaching over here. You can hit these edges right from here. Nice thing you can reach straight in here. That room's in the sun, but it's all pretty good. All right, guys. This is how she turned out. Uh, I didn't get much video footage of uh, finishing it because Chris finished it. Chris finished the whole thing while we went and cleaned some stamped concrete that we did last night. So that's what she looks like. She polished up really nice. That's our trench drain, but there's zip tape over it. So it's looking really sharp. Good job, bucko. I think we can tell that, huh? Mm -hmm. 
looks awesome okay guys this is where we're at just coming back here after the weekend or weekend off and we're gonna get rolling on this uh, fox block build we got our floor poured we got our first course of block in this is what she looks like we got some block down in there got a rebar over here we're gonna get ripping here that's our build we got to bring that up to the top of the foundation there there's gonna be a half course at the top that's how we like to do it we like to pour the floor um, before we build the walls it's a lot nicer a lot nicer so that's how we do it so i'm going to show you some uh fox block tips and tricks hopefully i'll take some time in between building and i'll show you some things and hopefully we get this built today because i got a pump coming tomorrow we're going to try to fill this in get her uh get her done stay tuned okay guys it is 11:30. That's where we're at. We started at 8 this morning. So we're in good shape. Got a bunch of window openings here. Um, we're just putting some plates on for our bulkhead here. We got a bulkhead, a couple bulkheads on the edge of these doorways here, this doorway. And we're going to have to build bulkheads on these windows. We got our back cellar entrance thing built. Our, re our rebars are all cut, our vertical rebars, all our horizontal bars in there. So we're in good shape. I got the scaffolding over on the trailer. Um, we're going to be using Nadura scaffolding because that's what I got. So I'm going to grab the skidster. It comes in a crate. I'm going to pick that crate right off of there. I'll show you what that looks like. This is our Nadura scaffolding here. So I'm going to grab that and bring it over with the skid. We're going to start setting that up. I'll show you what that looks like. We got some foot planks here from our footings that we'll be using to walk on. And I'll uh, show you how everything's going to come together here in a little bit. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we got always pumps here because the conveyor truck is broken for Circle T. We got a Circle T over there. 315-963-2231. Gonna pump this wall, little uh, box block wall here. I showed you how we build it. We are getting all things set up here. We got like nine and a half yards of concrete. We got our string line down through there. Chris is uh, gauging it with a block, inch and a half block, getting it close. You're gonna uh, probably fill this up to the bottom of the windows first. And kind of let that set up a little bit and then uh, finish off pouring it. We do have a couple of high spots in the wall, so we got a laser set up over there. With a little hump here. We're just gonna leave the concrete down a little bit and we'll shave that off tomorrow when it dries or Monday. Today's Friday, so probably Monday. But we're ready to rip here, guys. Things are looking good. We got everything out of the way. Let's see how far this guy, he must know what he's doing because he's set right up there. So we can get him closer, but I don't think we need to. It's gonna dump right in the back of him. Stay tuned. Here's our beam pocket, guys. We got basically two pieces of uh, ICF with some. Uh, Three quarter inch board in the middle there, just a front strip. That's how we did that. And that's right in there so we can pull that out after the concrete dries. Got a little rebar going behind it. See all the rebar down in there. All the clips and everything. There's verticals down in there. Got horizontals every course. He's getting stretched out. Let's see how we go here. Hey guys, he's got his boot on there and he's stretching that bad boy out. That thing is a pretty good sized pump. This is uh, the company that's helping us out today with the pumping. That's always pumping. It says 315-255-6981. Uh, they service uh, Central New York area, 
probably Oswego County, Jefferson County, stuff like that, New York State, Onondaga County. So we've, we've worked with these guys before, they do a nice job. Um, this little job couldn't be too bad at all today. We got concrete right there. All he's got to do is shoot into this hopper today. There's a hopper on the back of the truck right here. We're going to shoot into that. You can see it's got a little agitator in there. Keeps things moving. And that's how we're going to do it. I got to get on the wall. I'm going to put this um, camera on a tripod for you guys. So stay with us. I just talked to the pump driver and he wants a six slump six to six and a half slump for these walls that's kind of what i was thinking so they're uh he's putting a little water in the mix he was about a five i just asked him so like i said we're gonna pour up to these windows in the first lift and then uh try to fill the rest up after that's what she's looking like he's holding her out guys He's like a big accordion. <laughs> I think we can handle it, right? He can park at the neighbors and get it, I think. So we were just uh, finishing things up here, guys, and it started raining before we finished, but um, all went pretty well. We had some close calls on some blowouts, which I'm not sure why. Maybe we vibrated it too much or something, but um, we got our walls all straightened. We cleaned off the floor really good. Um, we're covering up the wall with some plastic just so the rain doesn't beat the top up real bad, but went pretty well. Um, we were gonna pour a footer this afternoon, but it's too wet now. It's, foot, it's gonna be really greasy over there. So we're gonna hold off on that. We're gonna have to do it tomorrow, which is Saturday, which we didn't wanna do, but pump's just leaving right now. We're about done. Call it a day and commence in the morning with getting that footer poured. Stay with us. Okay guys, we got our waterproofer on. We got our drain in, that's covered with stone. We are going to put a Marify cloth paper over this stone. And then I got some other stone that I'm gonna put over top of that. We're pretty much gonna backfill the whole thing with stone. But I'm gonna put the Marify over this just to uh, keep any uh, fine dirt from getting into the pipe. And then uh, we'll backfill it with the stone, see how much stone we need. Stay tuned, I got a big pile there. Clifford the Red Dog rang that over. We brought, uh, I think, three loads. So about 15 yards right there. Kevin the Kubota is here. We're going to use that to fill that bad boy in. We are back filling today, guys. This is how we're doing it. I'm in the skid. We got the coal chute here with some uh, number one stones. got dirt in it too. It's like a number one stone with dirt in it that we're back filling this uh, ICF foundation with. Biscuit. Big biscuit. Works pretty good. I'd do a little more. Here it comes.
boys having fun yet? All I can think about is wing night later, so that's what's keeping me going. Chris is thinking about trading sides with you. Charge it. All right, guys, we are taking the skidster out of here. Just gave him a halfway decent grade. He's gonna bring in topsoil when he's done building this. And feathered off a little better. We do still have to parge this, but we're heading to another job. We'll parge this on a different day, but this is what she looks like. They started framing it. Cut a bean pocket over there. Got his beam in and everything. Turned out pretty good. We've got a drain here that's taped, but we'll come back, sweep everything up, and parge it. That's what she looks like. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys, I'm down in the basement of our little ICF project here. We had to cut a hole into his house, a little man door for him. But this is how she turned out. The jack post in the middle. If you remember we put that piece of sound tube underneath there beams are sitting in here nicely got windows a bunch of windows here one two three four windows openings he's gonna put his windows in there we just parge everything we had a parge in here because this is an exterior entrance there's our drain trench drain Oh yeah, we did put a sump pump over in the corner here so he can pump water out of here when it floods. We got a pipe running in there. Looks like there's some styrofoam pieces in there, but it's dry right now. But I imagine it's going to have water in it eventually. This trench drain, we're hoping, catches any water from this, this cellar entrance here because there's going to be a door right here. There's going to be a sliding door going in this opening. There's our parge work. Quite a bit of uh, basement sticking out, but we do have to pour a slab in here, but we're gonna let that settle. Probably won't do that for a while, maybe in the fall. This is how the outside looks right here. We're just cleaning up. Fun, fun. Fun, fun. Rotor's here. Hey, Bob. You ready to go home? Hey, buddy. You ready to go home? That's what she looks like. Yeah, it's thunder and lightning. We backfilled everything with stone, so got a good uh, drainage playing up against the wall. And the uh, homeowner started putting his deck on. That's all done. So he's gonna have a two-story addition here. It's going all the way up to there, coming out. So be nice. We got Clifford full of uh, concrete rubble from cutting that hole in there, and we're ready to rip out of here. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Nice little ICF project.